we are just like, how do boats work? Like, can we right. can we just break <laughs> can we break this down? Like, I think I know, but I don't really know. And it really is incredible that this thing can float, and that this cruise is all inclusive. <laughs> One more mai tai, please. Do you actually know how these massive boats float? <laughs> it's incredible. How did you get here? Why are you following me? And leave the audience alone. Well, I'm very charming, so they let me on. And you ask questions, and I have answers. And the audience and I have a great relationship. Hi, audience. We're about to learn about how boats float. If you learned something new, click that like button and subscribe. And don't forget to leave a comment down below so I know what other everyday mysteries we should look into next. Since you never leave me alone until you've answered my question, fine. How is it possible that these massive things float? Buoyancy! What's that? The mathematical equation that makes big things or any things float. Who's that? This is Archimedes, the famous Greek inventor who, legend has it, screamed Eureka when he figured out the equation for buoyancy. So what does the equation say? The buoyant force needs to equal that of the object being submerged, the density of that object, and the acceleration caused by gravity. This cruise ship is massive, and it needs to displace a lot of water in order for it to float. Let's say it's 228,000 tons. That means that in order to float, it needs to displace that much weight in water for it to work. Really? How the f forces are possible? Well, the hull is a big help, and it's big. On a cruise ship like this, the hull can be 26 feet deep underwater. 26 feet? Isn't it insane? And the hull is just a big hollow tube under the ship to create more buoyancy. That really puts this whole floating thing into perspective. Does it? it? So while you're sipping on all of your all-inclusive drinks and enjoying the view, just remember, none of this would be possible without buoyancy. But that can't be all, right? It isn't. There's so many other matters problems and engineering questions that quite frankly I don't understand and it could be an entire another video which it might be so for now buoyancy is the simplest answer thanks for watching everyone and Marquez if you're seeing this I hope this answered some of your questions about how boats float I know it did for me if you like this video please like this video and consider subscribing and if you want to know more about cicadas click here see you soon